Hi, welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. Hi everybody, thank you for coming back. This is the reading for Sunday, January 30th for the Collective in Law. We're going to start with an Archangel Oracle card. Thank you for coming back in, my dears. I'm hoping that you resonate with the readings. If you don't, it's meant for somebody. That's why we put them out. And I believe everyone that is actually here is attracted to be here. Let's see what the messages are. Give me a quick second. This is a sage that was sent to me by one of my subscribers. It's Native American. As above, so below anything that holy has got to come. I've already done my triple spray. My goddess spray, clear black magic and spells, and sacred holy mist. So I'm going to put this down. Thank you, no weapon formed against us prospers at all. Okay, let's go. Archangel Oracle. What's the, what's the Oracle for Sunday, please? Beloved one. We have Archangel Samuel. He works with relationships, Samuel. Uh, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Well, isn't that cool, collective? Right? Very nice. That makes my heart very happy. So we'll see where this is going, okay? Give me one quick second. I'm going to do something first. Mm. Um, always dropping something, huh? Mm hmm Oh, that one's all burned out. That's good. Okay, let's go. We've got the candle going. This one, too. Have it on both sides of the table to catch negative energy and burn it away. No weapon formed against us prosperous anyway because we're... Whoa, dude. Stop. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look, Spirit. Come on in for the collective. What's the energy for Sunday? Wow. My hand's a little messed up. What's the energy for Sunday? I'm using a different pillow behind me and it makes my body like sit weird. <laughs> Sorry. What is the uh, primary love messages, love oracle for Sunday, January 30th, 2022 for the collective? We have that one. Give me another one, please. I'm healing a broken hand too. Honestly, it's always something. Okay, that one as well. All right, sweethearts. Here we have for a for Sunday, the message here is criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Somewhere inside, someone is blaming the other person. But the angels are here to heal this. And this one says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So that's exactly what we're seeing here. Let's see what the romance energies are for this reading. Thank you, Archangel Shaniel, for your presence. We're very grateful for all the presence of the Archangels. Welcome in, everybody. Cross watchers are always welcome here. Thank you, everybody. Let's see where we go with this. Clearing away any negative energies, calling it divine white light, utilizing the energies of air, fire, water, ether, and earth to read these messages, to tap in, knowing that everyone is divinely protected who stays in the light. It is a matter of free will. Here we go. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so someone knows that emotions are running high. They already know that what's going on is going to require them to have a positive outlook. And so positive outlook is extremely important when it comes to love. For some reason, they want you to know that because you don't, you don't have to understand who you're dealing with. 
you're dealing with someone you've known before. You can trigger each other. You can heal each other. If you only knew how. What else, please? We have in separation. Soulmates in separation. Yeah. And chemistry. There's chemistry here. There's a little resentment here because of the separation and the chemistry being so strong. And there is um, heavy-duty emotions and trying to stay optimistic about this past life relationship, which has affected you greatly. Let's find out where this is leading you. All right, let's use the Energy Oracle deck to see where it's leading. Give me the energy of the staying optimistic and past life for this particular reading for the collective. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, guys. You never know. Collective, let's see what's going on. The energy for you is walking away from a past life relationship. Having courage and strength. Dealing with your emotions, being powerful, knowing where you want to go, and taking yourself there. Looks like you're leading, being led by guides. It also looks like you're being led into a, a happier place. Yes, let's see your significant partner. Let's see. So that's what this is about. Possibly trying to stay optimistic even though you've walked away from someone or they walked away from you. Okay, the energy of separation and chem and um, Pat, let's have one for this separate. Past life relationship and separation, please. Let's see where that's going for Sunday. Action, taking action. 17, past life relationship. You have the female and the male or the masculine, feminine, or the twin flames chasing one another. Runner, chaser, runner, chaser, runner, chaser. Somebody has to take action. Someone might have taken action to separate, but someone may or walk away. Tell us the energy between separation and chemistry here. The garden and the gate. Someone's there. The garden and the gate. 30. <clears throat> I'm going to have to find out what they want with this. Because look it. Here's the gate. And usually horses are kept in corrals, you know, and they're gated in. Look at, at the gate, possibly walking away. We're going to have to find out if it's permanent. Because someone walked away from a past life relationship. Someone took action on it right away and decided to go ahead on with full on with the separation, even though there was chemistry. Emotions are really, really high. And someone's at the garden gate trying to decide, well, who do I commit to? Do I go back? Do I stay in this garden? Or do I go out and venture forward? Do I walk away and venture forward on Sunday? Do I go? Do I go to see this person? Hmm. Let me have the energy uh, for you, collective. You're right now working on having a happy family and being happy at home, happy by yourself, and this is all you want is a happy situation, a happy heart, a happy family. Your significant person is showing up as... Hmm, that isn't right. They're definitely not Jesus. I can say that right now. <laughs> All right, your, your significant person, who are they showing up as? Spirit, tap me in, please. Spirit, tap me in, please. Holy Spirit. Spirit, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Who is it? Show us the energy of the person that they're dealing with on a collective basis tomorrow. Oh, shit. They either aren't telling you they're walking away, or they're not telling you that they're coming, or they are. But Archangel Angel Gabriel is here to tell, spark someone up to come and speak their truth. So yeah, that looks like somebody might actually be coming your way. Shamuel, I meant. Shamuel Gabriel here. Tell me about Shamuel here then. You might be drawing them back in or they might be, this is something great. 
This is great. Yes, this is great. So blossoming abundance. 330. Someone really wants that abundance and it looks good. We don't have any complaints over here with what we're seeing. Let's see how this turns out there. Are they coming to you? Are they going to reach out to you? Is Samuel making sure that the right action is being taken so that everyone ends up happy because happy family is everybody's happy? Not just when mom is happy, everybody's happy. It's actually everybody is actually happy. Someone needs to speak their truth. There's chemistry and they haven't told anyone. Maybe they have chemistry for someone else and they haven't told you. They're walking away towards that other relationship. But we're going to have to look and see, okay? So bear with me while we look. Give me the energy of the collective, please. The energy of the collective. You're not talking right now. You're the ones that are holding back. It's 11-11 when I said that. You're the ones holding back conversation and communication right now because you're working on your emotions are really high. You may even be not telling them how you feel collective. You might not even be letting them know how, how things are going for you, okay? You just might not. Well, clarify that, please. I may need to get my smaller deck because my hands are healing. Um, clarified with the no, you don't feel like being left out in the cold anymore. You're tired of being without communication, without finances, without support, without anything, especially communication. What's on your mind? What's, I got to get a different deck. Bear with me a second. Small deck at. I've had it here. I'll use this one. Huh. Alright, let's use it. So, what's on your mind, collective? Let's look. Collective energies, please. What's on the mind of the collective, please, for Sunday, January 30th? On the mind of the collective, please. Mind of the collective, please. We need it. One more. Okay, here we go. The mind of the collective, please, at this time, on Sunday the 30th. Your mind is on holding your stature, holding your place, staying with the Empress energy, whether that be you or someone else, in this position of godliness, creativeness, empowerment. Wow. What's on your heart is building what you built, looking back at what you built, and what um, and also keeping some things in check and not, you know, maybe not knowing everything. Your heart's okay. What else, please? Yeah, the Ten of Cups is on your heart. You really want that. You want to go towards that without question. Yes, let me have the significant person that you're dealing with. Please, Spirit, tap us in. Power font. Uh, no, Justice. This could be a Libra. So here we have um, the Empress could be Taurus, Virgo, Venus and Virgo, um, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, anybody, a divine feminine, creator, creator person. Seven of Pentacles would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The moon would be Cancer or Pisces energy, and the Ten of Cups would be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person shows up as a Libra, but they are definitely sitting in the position of get needing and wanting and going to get justice. How are they going to get justice? Tell us what's on their mind. What's on their mind is the Four of Cups. 
how they feel like they haven't had enough love or they this is like unrequited love from somebody they're not giving them justice or balance yeah that could be what that is tell me about the four of cups this is for the, your partner it is the queen of cups indeed it is yep it's the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces she's your partner's mind is that you're not opening up to them yes that's what i hear tell us what's on the partner's heart what's on their heart is the six of cups of course and that is remembering you going back they want to come back oh is this is it coming back tell us more yeah for oh yeah see there there's the travel card i think they're on their way back and um Yeah, there's a 13. They're going to transform this relationship. This is a death card, Scorpio. The tower, or the death 13 is a tower. That's a Scorpio, but what does the tower mean in the middle of this relationship? It means, what does it mean? Hold on. There's definitely movement and a tower movement. Cancer, Scorpio. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone in their mind, someone who's logical, someone who has to make a decision, someone who thinks for other people, someone who's supposed to be divinely ordained by God, someone who's in a position of power, and he doesn't have a whole lot of feelings and emotions. He's just got logic and principle. Why does this man have logic and principle overtaking action? No shit. No wonder he does. Guess what? Guess why? Because his divine other is the high priestess and the empress and his ace of pentacles. Um, you better go claim that. I don't give a shit what you have to do. You come and step up and claim it or it's gone forever. That's what spirit just said to me. You have one chance to get it right this time. Yes, God is, believes in the prodigal, but he's not going to give you forever to damage a, a relationship that's supposed to be anointed. But you have to step up to it and create the relationship that you want with it. And you can't just let the feminine, this one here, um, number one, be without your supporting hand because you refuse, you withdraw it. And number two, to... Um, Expect her to automatically understand your logic. It's not happening. You're in your emotions, but in your feelings, thinking about this. I wonder what the conversation is going to be. I'm sure for every one of you, it's going to be different. Let's see how this is going to turn out. Moonology cards, please tell us. We have, look at the bigger picture. Because you have the high priestess, the empress, you have the... The Justice card, you have the Queen of Cups, and you have the King of Swords. It's a lot of people involved in this spiritual quest. Look at the bigger picture, Full Moon and Sagittarius. And the end of a rough cycle approaches, so maybe somebody's just going to have a good knockdown, drag out, heart to heart. And stick it out until the end. And finalize this mess. And either be or don't be together it has to be finalized everybody's been talking about it here we go keepers of the light for you guys please i'm just seeing somebody come and get their shit straight finally speak their truth archangel gabriel wants them to talk to you because you're not talking to them maybe they put you out maybe you put them out just enough is enough there's blossoming abundance action and and um someone deciding something keepers of the light please soul expansion i told you masculines are going through a lot of it uh your con consciousness is expanding you understand the connection between all things so both of you are psychic and you understand what's going on you know this you know this yes holy spirit tells it to you and proves it to you this is a way to know seek peace and pursue it remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit 
Five, six, be back. There you go, my loves. So, since this is Sunday, I will bring you a, wor a word, a promise from the word, and that would be, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but he will have the light of life. John 8, 12. Blessed are those that keep his statues and seek him with all their heart. Holy Spirit is your reward. Have a good day. Love you. Thank you for liking, subscribing, hitting the all bell. Thank you for becoming a Patreon member and supporting my work monthly. Thank you for the purchases of sacred sprays, baths, bath salts. Thank you for the gifts, the crystals, the love, the financial blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Love you. Namaste.